Today we're going to take a look at the RTS Tactical Advanced Sleek 2.0 Plate Carrier. RTS Tactical recently released this second version of their sleek plate carrier. This is designed as a smaller footprint, concealed or concealable plate carrier for those that might need to be able to wear it under a jacket or in conditions where they may not always be able to have it out and visible. RTS Tactical did send me this once they released them to take a look at. They did not provide me with any compensation, just the vest itself and the plates inside. I actually ended up sourcing myself through work. So these are not the RTS tactical plates. These are some ceramic plates that I had access to. So compared to a lot of plate carriers, you're gonna notice that this one does have a pretty minimalist design. There's no molly webbing. There's not really attachment points on the external of the vest to attach accessories or pouches because this is designed more as a concealable plate carrier. It does have some Velcro on the front and back if you want to attach patches, whether that's for identification or just because you enjoy attaching patches. Um, it also has shoulder straps with pads on it. You can adjust the length of those. You can also remove the pads pretty easily which if you're actually trying to get that to fit underneath a jacket or underneath a shirt, you would probably want to take those pads off. Another thing that this offers is the straps themselves actually have the ability to hold magazines, tourniquet, or other items that you may need to be able to stash under there. They do sit a little high, so depending on your flexibility, they could be a little bit difficult to access, but it is a good way to have a couple rifle or pistol magazines available if you need them. Another feature that I really like that these have is this mesh on the inside. It has kind of a gel feel to it and this mesh actually has some rigidity so that it stands off of your body and makes it a little more breathable. For anybody that's worn body armor for a living, military law enforcement, you know the stuff gets very hot and very uncomfortable and especially a lot of the concealable body armor uh, that law enforcement wears tends to get very sweaty and uncomfortable in any kind of heat. So, so far with the testing that I've done, this does allow for a fair amount of additional airflow underneath the plate and it does make it more comfortable. It's still gonna be warmer than not wearing a plate, but, but I do think that that design helps it to be cooler than if the plate was just sitting against the fabric and against your body. So first let's take a look at the build quality and just the, the stitching and how this goes together. Uh, granted, I've only had this for I think about two weeks. So this isn't a long-term review at this point, but the stitching, the quality looks very good. The material feels very durable. Uh, so far with a lot of on and off, the Velcro still looks to be in good shape. It's not coming apart or or deteriorating just from a lot of on and off. And I have put this on and off quite a bit, just testing it out. I've also had a couple other guys at work that are used to wearing body armor test it out, um, trying to get their feel and what they think about it. Additionally, each of the straps ends in a rubberized piece. This gives you a little more durability. It's not gonna come apart as easily. It's also very easy to grab onto to remove when you go to take it off. So when you're putting this on and off, that helps a lot with being able to remove it or reinstall it. The shoulder patches even have the ability to remove that rubber if you wanna create a lower profile look or if you want to be able to attach something else on top of that. I did mention the mesh in the back. I'm a big fan of how that feels. I do think it allows a little more breathability than you can get from a lot of other designs, which does add to the comfort. It does feel more comfortable in the heat than some other vest designs. And then for your straps, so there's two pouches on each of these straps, left and right side. So the pouches are designed, as you can see, they will pretty easily fit a AR-15 magazine in either one of them. And the front mag pouch on either side in addition to the main larger pouch, does have two loops sewn on the inside that allows a handgun magazine to be inserted. For the fit on the inside where you actually install the plates, 
there's a rubber loop that allows you to get a hold of that flap very easily for opening and closing in order to install the plate. That's not something that you're necessarily going to do all the time, but it does make it very easy to get in there, especially because the Velcro is a very strong hold. So that little bit of extra leverage is kind of nice. So far, I wouldn't say I have any complaints with this carrier, but there is a couple things that I want to note. First off, these plates are quite a bit smaller than a lot of the standard uh, chest style plates. So these will fit smaller trauma style plates. Back plate is eight by 10, the front plate is seven by nine for what I have in here. You could go a little bit bigger, they don't completely fill out the carrier, uh, but you couldn't go a lot bigger. As far as the magazine pouches on the sides, they do sit a little higher. So somebody that I let try it on that has a little bit less shoulder mobility had a hard time being able to get to the magazines that were stored in there. Now, again, this is a covert or concealed style vest, so it's not really designed for somebody that plans to be taking the magazines in and out all the time. It's more for emergency use or somebody that might need them but isn't necessarily going to want them visible until it's time to use them. That being said, it's pretty difficult while it's on your body to get the magazines back in the band, especially the handgun magazines, trying to get them lined up and reinserted on the smaller loops inside the band for the, mag the handgun magazines. That is pretty difficult when it's on your body. So great for concealment where if you need to take that mag out, you're probably using it and not necessarily putting it back. The other thing I noticed is that the RTS Tactical website, they list the plate for basically $130. So I do think it's a pretty decent price for a plate carrier. It's especially with some of the features that it has and the mesh on the back that allows for breathability. So it's an affordable plate carrier but there's not a lot of specific information on there on exactly what size of plates that it carries. So, so you can use the RTS Tactical plates, which are on their website, or if you're looking to source your own or you already have plates, it's a little less clear exactly what dimensions it takes. Overall, even though this was a free carrier to me, I do think it's worth $130 if it fits your needs. If you're looking for a large plate carrier that allows you to attach magazines and radios and other accessories to it, this may not be the one for you. But if you're looking for a lower profile vest carrier, one that can be concealed, one that can be stored in a smaller bag and just in case you need it, I think this is a good carrier for the money. I would definitely recommend it and I would definitely consider this as a viable plate carrier if it meets your needs. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you use any of the RTS Tactical products? Are you interested in this carrier specific? Let me know in the comments below and thanks for watching.